A very good evening ladies and gentlemen. My name is Girish Nagpal and friends called me the irony man of India. Wondering what is this irony man? Well, let me shed some light on it. My name literally means the king of mountains. Imagine, look at me. The king of mountains, I don't know what my father was thinking. Secondly, I hail from Haryana, still very soft-spoken. I am a Punjabi, but a vegetarian. So that's why my friends called me the irony man of India. Today, I'm here not to share any gyan with you, but a story, a true story, which I think a lot of you can relate to. I hail from Hisar, a place around 200 kilometers from Delhi. A city not very big, not very small, but when you talk about opportunities, when you talk about exposure compared to a metro city like a Bangalore or a Mumbai or a Delhi, they were very restricted. I come from a very humble background, born in a lower middle class family. I was the first engineer in the whole of my extended family. And my parents had not too many aspirations and ambitions, just get a good job and get settled and that's what they wanted. No, nothing big. But one thing has been a continuous in my life throughout and that's been the test. Wherever I appeared, Mr. Test came before me and threw a challenge. Even before I could react, I could see that there was a challenge thrown at me. I was in the final year of my engineering when Y2K happened. All the jobs suddenly vanished and I was left without anything in my hand when I completed my engineering. Started to reach out desperately to any and everything I could come across in terms of an opportunity or a job. After a lot of struggle and efforts, I landed up with a job in a small company in Mumbai. Now Mumbai, the moment my mother heard Mumbai, she was devastated. She said, Mumbai? You haven't even traveled to Delhi alone even once. How do you think you can survive in that Mayanagri? I was confused. I looked at my elder brother who had a very different approach. I remember his words. He said, What do you have to lose that anybody can take from you? I bought that and took that leap of faith and shifted to Mumbai without knowing what the city, the maximum city as they call it, had in store for me. And those few months in Mumbai, the early months, I remember they were the loneliest, scariest and the darkest phase of my life. Starting from living in a small dingy room in a chawl to struggling to communicate with people. I'd never converse in English so I used to wonder how to even connect with people because my English, when I spoke to them, they just made a mockery of me. That time, I cannot know people's laughing, I talking, people's laughing and I used to wonder what am I doing wrong? But friends, when quitting is not an option, when you're all in and you know, I'm going to stand here no matter what. The circumstances, the people, they will all align to give you that new life. And that is what happened with me. I started speaking in English no matter how wrong. I had people who were supporting me. My first boss, he gave me that push. Every time I spoke in Hindi, he used to really thrash me. And slowly but steadily, I became better, formed a circle. And when... Now, in hindsight, I look at Mumbai, that phase of my life, which actually looked like a horrifying one when I was going through it. Literally, every single gift of life, the first one especially I got from Mumbai. My first bike, my first house, my first wife, I mean, the only one, fortunately, they're all gifts of Mumbai to me. If it was not that phase, I would have not married to that perfect partner I have. And that you can only know when you look at in hindsight. These are the rhythms of revelation. Moving on, 
I really struggled but gave my best and from a non-performer became one of the best performers in the company and was doing really well but that thing of continuous upselling pushed me and I started preparing for MBA. I got into MDI Gurgaon, took a break in my career, went back for a full-time MBA. The college life as you know was like a breeze after working for 6-7 years and the college life went like a breeze thinking wow the placement numbers are skyrocketing I'm going to land up a, at a beautiful job but then Mr. Test appeared again. It was the economic turmoil of 2008. There were no decent jobs. All I could manage was a small job in an education startup and that too as their first employee in the Maharashtra region. It was a huge challenge building a company from scratch in a region where I didn't know the local language. But again, I decided to take that leap of faith. Landed up in Mumbai where I met Kaman Agarwal as my flatmate. Little did I know that this was start of a relationship for life. 12 years hence, we together started a company. And that again, I could only see that in hindsight. Those years in Pune, I gave my heart and soul, traveled literally in a suitcase, built a company out of nothing. And today when I look back, it was all the exposure I got, how to build a company from scratch, how to hire people, how to build a team. Like an entrepreneur, being an employee, I got that opportunity to build a company like my own. And that has really helped me when I am running my own businesses today. Again, from a regional role, I was escalated to a national role, went back to Mumbai. And Mumbai, like always, again, embraced me with all, all the heart. I got married to my long-term girlfriend. From two, we, we became three. And it was all settled. We bought a new house. Life was settled. And then, who came? Mr. Test. This time, in the form of a transfer to Bangalore and my wife by now Suhan my son he was just nine months a perfect nanny a perfect daycare what about my job how do we go leaving all this family and circle and moving to South India is that's not a good idea but luckily I was able to convince her and we landed in this Silicon Valley of India almost nine years back this was when I moved to Bangalore, I remember the earlier speaker, so I was actually relating to it, the next best edition of myself, right? The next best version. That is what Bangalore gave me. Within my corporate life, I was so happy, but Bangalore gave me a different high. In my last job, I almost have everything an employee can aspire for. Swanky hotels, a decent pay package. I even traveled in private jets multiple times. So. But there was something missing and I think this is the vibe of Bangalore. The startup bug had bit me and I wanted to go for my real calling. And that's where I decided enough is enough. Now I want to create something on my own. And it's been six years. I'm building my second startup today. And the challenges, if you ask me, the life is not easier. But when you know that life or universe has a bigger plan for you, and you stand there, persevere and patience with patience, the tough times can only make you tougher. Because when you decide it's not going to be quitting, you stand there, the circumstances, the people will align to help you. So my dear friends, you are at a phase where when you are going through, you might find that this is the toughest phase of my life. But trust in the universe, bigger plan, because the tough times are opportunities. Tough times are opportunities for your growth. Tough times are opportunities to make you stronger. It is easier to just become a victim of your circumstances and say, this is not for me, I'm going to quit. But when you do not succumb, when you do not surrender, your real self gets polished. You get transformed into somebody you never thought. If I can do it, I am sure anybody in this room, anybody in this world can do it. Because I was a person who lacked self-confidence, who lacked self-esteem, who lacked the basic communication skills. But if I've been able to do it, I am sure 
every single person. Only thing is, you should not surrender, you should not succumb when the life comes into you. So fear is not an option, right? You have to be brave to fight those fears. As they say, bravery is not the absence of fear, but the conquest of it. Right? You see the fear, you feel the fear, but you do things which are meant to be done. If you look at anybody, any successful person in the life, right from uh, Dhirubhai Ambani to uh, Dipinder Goel, right from Shah Rukh Khan to Sir Faraz Khan, everybody has struggled in the life. Talking about Sir Faraz Khan, I'm sure most of us, you would have seen that this young gentleman, young cricketer, made his test debut recently. And it's a very, very inspiring story. Their, their father, so there are two kids actually, Munir and Sarfaraz, they're both playing for India, the younger one for under 19 and Sarfaraz for India main team. So their father, Naushad, had a dream of playing for India, but he couldn't do it. So he's living that dream through his children. And if I talk about his attitude, so one of the things which, which he mentioned was when he was struggling, when he was finding it tough to make it make his son play for India, he used to wonder with a lot of disappointment that Mary Mere Sapno ko Mary Aake Kunahi Milti. Mary Sapno ko Mary Aake Kunahi Milti. Me Diye Jalata Tahu Ujala Kyuni Milta. So he used to say that my son and we are trying all our best, but what is it that we are not able to succeed? Why is that I am not able to get the results of what we are giving? But that was a thought process of somebody who is losing patience. There, he changed his attitude to a person who started believing that every dusk has a dawn. No matter how longer, how darker it may seem, but definitely if you keep giving your best, nobody can stop you from winning what you are meant for. And then his attitude changed and he now says, Raat ko guzarne ka vakt to do. Raat ko guzarne ka vakt to do. Suraj niklega apni marzi se hi to. Raat ko guzarne ka vakt to do. Suraj niklega apni marzi se hi to. So my friends, if you decide you want to do something and the fear and the circumstances strike you, perseverance and patience, these are the tools you got to stick to. These are the tools you want to hold on to because universe has a much bigger plan for all of us. Only thing is you got to be staying strong because tough times can only make you tougher. That's it from my side. Have a good day.